Yikes. So it's a pretty foggy morning this morning. Uh, but at least it's not cold. Right now it's 50 degrees outside, so I'm actually in shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> That's a drastic difference from last week. We got a lot to do today, so I've got to run to the office and then run down to get my daughter's telephone fixed, so got a lot of driving, a lot of driving. I do love some foggy mornings, though. There really is something about the soft light on rainy, foggy overcast days just love that feel I'm driving in some soup today man so what does it mean to burn the ships it's a good story I use it a lot whenever I do talks about overcoming addictions and, and building some habit stuff. You know, we've all, or maybe you haven't, but I, I grew up hearing about Cortez the Killer. In fact, Dave Matthews even had a whole song dedicated to Cortez the Killer. And so I'd always heard about Cortez the Killer, but it wasn't until uh, a few years ago that a buddy of mine that I was in the military with mentioned the phrase, burn the ships. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he said, you ever heard of Hernan Cortez? I was like, Cortez the killer, yeah, I've heard about him. Let's get some light on this. In the 1500s, Hernan Cortez, under the orders of Charles I, leads an expedition of 11 ships and over 500 men to Mexico in order to conquer the Aztecs and the voyage is a long voyage from Spain and they get to Mexico and the men are somewhat beat down. They're already tired and facing the Aztec army was very daunting. In order to remove the distraction of home and keep the men focused, out of the 11 ships he burns 10 of them and sends one of them back. There's no retreat. There's no looking back. The men can't look back to the ships and think about going home. So how does that apply to us? Well, you know, when I think about all of the distractions that I had in doing a video and just putting myself out there, you know, I would get all worried about lighting and making sure that all of that hits exactly right, that the audio is dialed in perfect. And I would use that as an excuse to not push forward. So when you have something like that, when you have a goal in mind and you find yourself not being able to achieve it, burn the ship that is distracting you. Get rid of it. Focus on the task ahead and move towards that by getting rid of the thing that you might look back to and turn away from your goal. I mean, burn the ship and do it in an epic way, just like Cortez. Don't stick it off to the side and just make it hard to get, no burn that thing. Get rid of it entirely and then see what happens. That may give you exactly what you needed. I mean, like I said, I've got all of this equipment and lighting and everything else that I could possibly ask for in order to make just all of the same type of videos that we do for commercial clients and for production work and, and for film and but I realized those things were distracting me. They were stopping me because I would intentionally wrap myself up in making sure everything was just perfect rather than just doing the work. So do the work, burn the ships and get at the work instead. I drove all the way here just to get my laptop and my hard drive I have two projects that I cannot wait to finish. You'll see them when they're done.
I spend a lot of time in this car. So, got everything kind of accomplished that I needed to get accomplished today. The wife and one of my kids is sick, so picked up a little bit of, you know, good old Jersey Mike's, if you're not familiar. Delicious. And, um, I'm gonna head home, call it a day. So, Catch y'all later. Well, guess where I'm at again? Getting more gas.